What's up guys, Nick here, or it's BK Tyrant from Bad Kid Tactics, and I'm just bringing you a Call of Duty 4 game, Search and Destroy, on Chinatown, which is the map pack, if you didn't know, and uh, hopefully you guys can pick up some tips and some tactics here today. So I'm running with my uh, assault rifle class, and I like to take control of this middle building here on defense, which is the round that we start on. And uh, so we just go upstairs, and I like, and it actually, the host migrates here, or something here, I'm, I'm actually not sure, it just lagged. But uh, we go in and we put this claymore here. I like to set it up right here. Usually gets a kill if uh, they attract into the middle building. And you can see that dude in the window here. And we put this claymore down. So we're going to look out the window. I usually There's usually always a dude in that building. Not always, but, you know, usually. And we cook a grenade and kill him. So we're going to go and check the B target real quick. Because we did hear some footsteps either coming up the staircase or heading toward B back there when we were coming up. So we check out the window and we kill that dude. Moving back over to check this spot over here. We're going to jump out the window and go check out the building here. So, just moving in here. Just checking around. Looking down the staircase. Just making sure it's clear. Check the window. Check the A target outside. So, uh, I'd imagine this is a pretty good spot to defend A, but uh, I usually just stay in the middle building. And, uh, just messing around in here. So we're going to jump back out and head towards the middle building because there's not really anything to see there. You can see some red dots or whatever they're trying to do. Bait us back there to the spawn or whatever. But, you know, I mean, it's you and one other teammate left, so you don't really need to do that. And, uh, I mean, I'm level 55, so I don't usually go chasing. But we do know that he's back there. So instead of going, I want, which, what I want you to notice is that I didn't go through the middle street there. I just headed, I tried to head around this far side. Our teammate gets a sniper shot on him. So, uh, thanks to metrics here. So going ahead into the middle building again, same strategy here, you got to make sure you check that uh, doorway on your right before you go up, but uh, I, I don't think I check it this time. And same spot for the claymores here, running over to the other side here, and I'm going to check that other building again because there's usually a guy in there like I said before. We can hear this dude somewhere around here, but we're going to check our messages. And uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, actually. I don't recommend doing this, and I'm not exactly sure. I think this dude was, like, British or something, so I don't know even why I check my messages. Don't do not do that in the match. So we cook this grenade in there, and we hear this dude drop out. So, er, Actually, we cook the grenade, and we hear him, but uh, we don't get the kill with the grenade, so we know he's downstairs. So we drop out the window and go in downstairs, pick up his uh, sniper rifle, and we go back in before we reload. We reload our weapon, but we see the other bomb site light up, so we're heading over there to the other bomb site. See if we can pick these guys off. We don't catch anyone, but we do hear a dude in that building over there, and he's taking some shots at some of our teammates. So we're just kind of waiting for him to see what he does. And uh, we're just kind of waiting here. Toss a smoke grenade in there, because we don't have our frag lift. He's jumping in the window here, because our teammate actually gets a sniper spot on him. Uh, sniper shot, so thanks to metrics once again. And we're just Good randomly shooting around here, now, getting with the, get ready for the next round. shooting the sword, the the sign up there on the wall. Search and destroy. So going in the middle He's building again this time because this is a uh, I find this highly effective. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really gotten too many kills from actually being in the building in this round from people rushing up, but we do hear a dude coming here. So we're just gonna wait on the staircase and. We try to pick him off here, but we don't get him, so we're just going to run upstairs. Plan our claymore here. And we move into the other side to check the window again for the other building. And looking through here, we can see a dude. We can hear a dude. We try to cook this in here. And we get a double kill or right there with the one with the claymore and one with the frag grenade. So we're running back here. We're going to pick up this weapon. Check out the window to check the bomb site. We don't see anybody, so running back. And I actually run in the corner. Whenever I hear, I run behind that computer whenever I hear somebody coming up the staircase. And I, that's why I pulled out the P90 for close quarters there because I heard somebody coming up. But I'm not sure where he was. And we hear this dude outside. We shoot. We take a couple shots at him. We jump out the window, but uh, he actually uh, gets us here. He jumps around the corner and catches me off guard. So, yeah, you don't need to chase there, especially if you're level... Uh, 1055 and you don't need the the experience points I, I just recommend just defending the bomb site staying in that building so we're just spectating our teammate here so yeah just uh, hope you guys learned your lesson about chasing there by watching that scene so uh, yeah don't chase unless you know you're gonna win the gunfight I mean I really I thought I had that gunfight won but uh, that just shows that you never really know
And uh, he jumps out the window here, and the guy happens to be in the corner get there, so he gets taken out. But uh, good effort by Metrics here. So moving in, uh, it's halftime, so we're switching sides. And on, on offense, I, I like, like I said, I like the middle building, so that's what I rush. And I put my, my SMG with extreme conditioning on when I'm going on offense because uh, they spawn a little bit closer there, and it's going to be hard to get there. Watch out for that nade spot. A lot of people like to throw nades there. We're going to check right here when we come in, and we try to drop shot him, but he doesn't <laughs> fall for it. He just kind of goes up the stairs. But we end up taking him out anyway. You can hear his teammate coming from downstairs, and we can hear him coming up the staircase. So don't, we don't bother reloading. We whipped out that pistol, like I've said, some of my other videos we wait for them to come up we take them out we put our claymores down before we reload just to make sure that it's safe running over to the other doorway here you can see that dude in the in the doorway so uh, we're just aiming at him and uh, you can see him on the left there he goes he moves to the uh, right and we try to throw the grenade in but it bounces off the wall so we don't catch him here so we're just going to reload both of our uh, weapons here and throw our smoke in just to um distract them while we uh, reload our weapons here so climbing to the roof this is probably a bad idea just because uh there's some on the UAV, you can see those guys, and we run in here, he runs around the corner, and I guess he heard us come in, or saw us, and he, he rushes around the corner, which uh, you shouldn't be sprinting, and uh, we, we pick him off, we hop on the MG, because we hear this uh, other guy coming, or we see him on the UAV, and we take him out, we're going to run over here and check the other bomb site. actually we, only, we don't have a lot of time left, and so we're going for the we only have a minute here, and this dude's camping. He's got jammer on, so we didn't see him, the little sneaky bastard, but we do pick him off anyway. He chases us around the corner. Once again, like that, you don't need to be chasing. And uh, that gives us our airstrike. So we're just coming back in the middle building because the enemy used his UAV, which is uh, bad for us. Usually, I suggest uh, when they have the UAV, keep moving and changing directions so they don't know where you are. But because I know I have my claymore still up in this building, I'm actually coming in here and uh, using these as a safe zone. I do still have uh, 40 seconds left to plant that bomb, so I'm just running over here and running in this building, just trying to use up that UAV, checking if he's coming over here, hop on the MG just for some uh, some more cover, just to see if he uh, sees that. And we see the enemy UAV recon expire, so we're going to hop out the window, and he, he likely knows we are over here by A last chance he saw on the UAV, so we're going to rush over to B real quick, jump out the window like a boss, and we're heading over here to plant the bomb. So uh, we're just being weary of footsteps here. We don't want them to come up on us, sneak up on us, and uh, run around the corner here. And uh, I want to talk about what happens here. I, I like to defend from trash cans, if you haven't noticed, just because when they walk by, you can't see them. He tries to go for the the defuse here, but I can tell that he likely saw me when he came around. So that's why I put the airstrike on. I knew he was faking me out because it's so early, right after I planted it that it's likely he knew where I was and he was trying to fake me out to get me around the corner so I just put the airstrike on there and what happens here I come around I get cocky I don't know where he's at because I can't hear anything from the airstrike and I actually flinch and take a shot and he figures out where I am and comes and gets me and he gets the defuse here just checking my message here once again I don't know why I think this actually was like a sniper lobby or a, a Michael Myers lobby and I so that's why I closed it down early so uh, same thing we're rushing the middle building here and uh, you know same class claymore stopping power extreme conditioning my SMG red dot class gotta watch out for that nade spot once again move in we make sure that we check that doorway on the left because we did have a confrontation with somebody there running upstairs and we put our claymores down like usual and uh, we hear this guy, we try to pick him off through the window, and we see his other teammate there too, but uh, we don't get him. So we're putting our claymores here, checking that building, and we can see that there's a dude in there, so we're going to cook our grenade here. And uh, we're just cooking the grenade, throwing it in there, and we don't get the kill with it, so we hop out the window, because we know he's, he's, uh, actually, no we don't, we, uh, we, yeah, but we jump down the window and we go downstairs instead, and, uh, because we hear him run, we jump out and we try to chase him, which is bad. But uh, he jumps around the corner and we get on the floor. And when he walks in, we take him out. And we can hear his teammate with our uh, Turtle Beach headsets. So we're just going to wait for him. We sit in the doorway and, and we take him out there. And now moving to the next round. Got to watch out for that Nate spot once again. And we're going to check this doorway when we come in here. Moving up the staircase because it's clear. We've got our sights ready. We're ready to fire. We put our claymores down. And uh, we see this dude, and he actually takes us out here because we got our claymore out. We're not really ready for our fight. And I'm actually not sure how he got in. He might have come in through the window uh, from that other building if he had extreme conditioning, which is very interesting rush. I, I might uh, think about trying that out a little bit because uh, I'm not exactly sure how he got there that fast, but we're respecting our teammates here again. And uh, 
as you see, this dude's nowhere near his teammate. He needs to, once again, I think I said this in my other videos, it, it doesn't matter if your teammate's trying to plant the bomb or the bomb's already planted. You need to get to that bomb site. You don't need to be fooling around way across the map. He, he's not even helping his team out. He's nowhere near the bomb site. He needs to be defending that bomb. Especially if you're 10 prestige 55, you don't need to be searching for kills or in the enemy spawn or anything. You need to be going over there. You need to be helping your team out. So, thanks for watching, guys. There's just, uh, so it's Chinatown 12 and 3. Hope you guys got something out of this. And, uh, check for my next video. Please, uh, take two seconds to thumbs up that video, rate, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out, guys. Thanks. See you in the next video.